So the pressure, of course, is on for undeclared Democrats to announce which way they will go. Democratic Congressman Mark Shower of the great state of Michigan <laughs> is with me now. Thanks for joining us. You're welcome. So you've made some uh, news in the last few minutes. I understand you have made a big announcement or you've decided which way you want to go with this yeah. vote and your decision is? Yes, uh, I will vote for the bill. Uh, I wasn't called into the White House or pressured by leadership. It's a very simple decision. We either continue the status quo uh, where health insurance companies are will, that will guarantee they will increase their premiums by double digits on working families and businesses every year, uh, or we can fix our broken health care system. And this bill will help families by cutting costs. It will close the donut hole for senior citizens. It will make sure that health insurance companies can no longer drop people from coverage or right. deny them because of pre-existing conditions. The deficit reduction uh, is very important to me. Uh, 130 million dollars, in de billion dollars in deficit reduction over the first 10 years, 1.2 trillion dollars over the second 10 right. years. So if it was such a simple decision for you to come to, and obviously the uh, CBO report, that information came out this morning, which you said you factored in, why then are there other members of Congress from your state still undecided and so many others within the party if you see it so clearly? Well, every member of Congress goes through their own process. I have never listened so hard to my constituents or anyone in my whole life And what were they saying? What were your constituents debate. saying? I'm sorry it's, to interrupt, very, but what were they saying? It's, it's very mixed, mm. uh, but candidly, $300,000 worth of attack TV ads paid for by the health insurance companies have confused voters in my district. Mm. And as I talk to them about what this bill will do, uh, essentially for people without insurance or businesses that, that can't afford coverage it will give them the same choice of quality affordable private plans that I have as a member of Congress so uh, peeling back all of the misinformation and focusing on facts and how it will help right. my constituents uh, it, it becomes a pretty easy decision why did it come to the wire for you again telling our audience this is breaking news you're just making this announcement in the last few minutes uh, and some of the things outside of the CBO report we've known and your party has said all along the pre-existing condition. Well, I owe it to my constituents to know the facts. Mm -hmm. uh, the fact that the Congressional Budget Office has determined $130 billion in deficit reduction the first 10 years, $1.2 trillion the second 10 years, is very, very important. This may be the biggest deficit reduction vote I ever cast in Congress. Mm -hmm. The fact that um, my constituents will have the same kind of choices that I have as a member of Congress, not a government takeover. And seeing the, uh, uh, the bill that will fix the Senate bill and combine the best provisions of the House and Senate bill uh, really was important for me to see uh, uh, personally. And I owe that to, to voters in my district. But ultimately, uh, it's a choice. Do we continue the status quo, which is causing millions of people to go broke in our country due to medical bills? Most of them have have health insurance or fix our current system. It's not a perfect bill, but I'll, I'll give you a, a couple of quick facts. 30,000 people in my district that currently are uninsured will be able to afford coverage. They will be extended coverage. 160,000 individuals, 12,000 businesses will receive tax credits and assistance to afford coverage. Uh, it, it reforms uh, how, health how the health insurance industry works. They are winning under the status quo and okay. my constituents have been losing and All that's right. why I will vote for this bill. Well you kept the mystery going for a long time but you certainly got the case and uh, shared it now. Thank you very much Congressman Mark Schauer of thank the you. great state of Michigan. Thank you again. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Absolutely. In today's